For the fastest, cheapest, most reliable coins on the market, check out my coin sponsor, MMOXP.com, and use discount code MONEYSHOT to get 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff the Mad Cheese, as always. Got another update video for you guys today. Today, I'm be going over the player rings that just came out. Uh, there is some other news about Madden 25, kind of a small, uh, you know, little thing that came out about how they're going to have some new announcers in next year's game. But most of the stuff I'm going to go over today is just player ratings like I typically do. So, as always, if you guys want me to do more videos like this in the future, gameplay updates, uh, player ratings updates, all that stuff, make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. Last week when I put out this video, uh, there was a roster update uh, for the Philadelphia Eagles where they did, I mean, there was an update throughout the entire game. Uh, but one of the big ones was Shaq Leonard did get added to the Philadelphia Eagles, although he's not very good. He's only like a 74 overall rated player. Uh, but Ben Van Sumeren was also added to the Eagles, and he's a 91 speed linebacker, so I plan on using him quite a bit. Uh, but let's go and let's get into these player ratings. The first and highest rated player on the player ratings list is Fred Warner. The first highest rated player to get moved a point is Fred Warner. He went down a point. I don't know why, considering that the Niners are flying high right now, but he must have did something because his rating went down. Uh, after that, uh, continuing forward, not a ton of ratings. Stefan Diggs' rating went down two points. He's, um, you know, I don't know what uh, what he did in Buffalo. I mean, I know Buffalo won the game and they're playing well, but apparently he's not playing too great because he went down two whole points. I know a lot of people are saying he's not involved enough in the offense, uh, which is something that, um, you know, you hear a lot coming out of Buffalo uh, where they're really moving the ball around a lot. So I don't really understand that. Definitely a great player. Another player that went up a lot is Tyron Smith. Went up three whole points. Left tackle, Tyron Smith for the Cowboys. Now might be one of the, might be the second highest rated left tackle in the entire game. He's definitely having a very good year. There's no doubt about that. So now up to a 95 as Cowboys are getting a lot of love after beating the Eagles. Jason Kelsey for the Eagles went down a point. Speaking of which, he's down to a 93. Uh, which, you know, he's a guy, he doesn't move up very quickly, uh, but for some reason he, he tends to, uh, you know, all linemen go down quicker than they go up for whatever reason it is. I can't imagine what Tyron Smith did to go up three whole points, by the way. I mean, what was he, pancaking everybody he saw in the game? It's really hard to say. Uh, Joe Burrow also went up an awareness point, which is kind of weird considering he's injured. But, you know, there's, there's been weirder stuff when it comes to uh, Madden ratings. Dak Prescott went up a point. Um, he's now up to a 92 which, you know, he's having a monster year. A lot of people think he might be the MVP. I don't really know about that. I don't know how you get MVP over a guy like Brock Purdy when the Niners beat the, the Cowboys and they're currently the number one seed. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, Dak's having a great year regardless. Uh, Derwin James, he went down the point last week. He also went down a point this week. He's down to a 92. Another point down for Derwin James. That's two weeks in a row. Joe Thune went up a point. He's up to a 92. He's slowly risen. I think he started the year as like an 89 or 90. So he's slowly risen to a pretty uh, pretty good rating for the uh, for the Chiefs. Uh, Antoine Winfield Jr. He went up a point last week. And he went up another point this week as well. He's now up to a 91. Uh, Keenan Allen down a point. I mean, isn't he like top five in receiving right now? Like, I don't know why he's going down a point. But he went down a point to a 91. That doesn't make a ton of sense. Marlon Humphrey went down a point as well to a 91. Although I think, you know, I mean, the, that's, that doesn't make a lot of sense either because the Ravens have one of the best defenses in the entire game, and he's a big part of that. So I don't necessarily understand a lot of these ratings changes, but it is what it is. Brandon Ayuk, though, went up a point. He's up to a 90 now. I love me some Brandon Ayuk. That guy is an amazing player. Uh, up to a 90 now, finally breaking the 90 threshold. Quentin Nelson went down a point to a 90. Um, you know, I don't really know what's going on. I mean, once again, the Colts are looking pretty good. I would imagine Quentin Nelson's playing pretty good. Stephon Gilmore, another guy. Cowboys players, man. They're getting huge rating bumps. They're not just getting one-point bumps. They're getting two, three-point bumps. Stephon Gilmore up two points to a 90. He got uh, plus two awareness, and I'm guessing um, he got plus three tackling. You know what I mean? Like, I don't, I don't know how plus two awareness. Plus two awareness. And plus three tackling made Stefan Gilmore go up two whole points. That's kind of crazy to me. Uh, once again, good player, but it's like I don't necessarily understand what he did to go up two full points. Amari Cooper down a point. Also having a pretty good year, down to one point to an 89. Hassan Reddick, I think he has like 11 sacks on the year so far, and he's got like some of the, I think he's like top five in the league in sacks in the last couple uh, seasons. Uh, he's down a point for some reason to an 89. So you can see, I mean, there's definitely like a, a, uh, uh, you know, a motivation here to 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 hurt the Eagles ratings and boost the Cowboys ratings because we're seeing this trend quite a bit. Uh, same thing with interior line for the Chiefs. As another interior lineman for the Chiefs, Trey Smith went up two points. He got plus three awareness 
and he went up two full points plus two pass blocking and run blocking and he went up two full points so definitely um you know definitely uh, uh some interior linemen getting a lot of love in kansas city right now both their guards go up uh evan ingram went up a point he's up to an 88 one of the best tight ends in the game because of his speed mostly but he's definitely a very good player as well jalen johnson a cornerback who's been going up a lot lately he's now up another point he's doing 88 very good player from the bears his catch rating went up two points which is definitely important i guess when it comes to getting interceptions on how important that is khalil mack i don't know if he's still leading the league in sacks but he was last week when i did this and he only he went up a point he's now an 88 overall good for him lead like he said he's either leading the league in sacks or he was last uh week and he's still only an 88 overall player. I mean, it's not like this guy came out of nowhere. He's a Hall of Famer. Uh, but he's still, you know, slowly moving up. Tony Pollard, another guy who's had a pretty disappointing year if you're a Cowboys fan. I think a lot of people thought he would take over for Zeke and really catch fire. He went up one point to an 88. Um, I don't know. Like I said, it just seems like they're bumping up all the Cowboys. I, I'm doing a live reaction here. It just seems like they're really bumping up all the Cowboys and really knocking down everybody else because I still don't understand why Fred Warner got a point deducted from him. Uh, but we do have another Niners play here that's going up two full points in Brock Purdy. Uh, hopefully it's in throw power, though, because that's really the part that he hurts the most. And sure enough, it is. His throw power went up to an 85. That might make him usable, if I'm being honest, because Jalen Hurst is an 86, and I have no issues with him. So that one point in uh, throwing power, I mean, he also got some awareness boost points and stuff like that. But that one point in throw power is worth like five points anywhere else. So that's good, because that makes him a little bit more usable. Dallas Goddard, another eagle going down. Uh, you know, once again, I mean, he, I don't know, he came back for one game off of a three-week injury. Uh, and I guess he played so poorly with a cast on his arm that DA had to knock him down. Either that or, like I said, there's definitely something going on here. Derek Brown, second week in a row, him going up a point. He's now up to an 87. Two-point strength boost as well to a 97 strength. Uh, definitely uh, holding it down on the defensive line for the Carolina Panthers. The one-win Panthers getting some serious ratings boosts. Uh, Kenneth Walker went down a point, but he didn't go down a point in speed, so who really cares? But he's down an 87. Uh, that's probably the, uh, you know, I mean, the speed is really all that matters there. Aiden Hutchinson down a point. I don't know. Maybe he hasn't done anything in a while. I know he started off the, the year really hot, but he's down a point to an 86. Uh, we got David and Joku went up a point. He got plus five awareness. He had a monster game, uh, but I don't know what he did to get plus five awareness. That's weird. I mean, I don't understand where they come up with awareness boost like five full points. Justin Herbert down a point. Here's a guy that I've been on for a while. I mean, I've been saying that he's just so he's just kind of overrated. I think he's he's just doesn't get it done when you need him to the most. But you know, I don't know why that's hurting his ratings because he's a he's a good stat guy. He's a good number guy. There's a lot of quarterbacks like that. They put up good numbers, but they don't actually get you anywhere. It's kind of how Herbert feels. But he went down a point, down to 86. Feels kind of low. I mean, he's the highest paid player in the league right now, so it feels kind of low for him. Rashawn Gary down two whole points. Also lost to awareness. Awareness is important. I mean, they honestly, these player ratings, a lot of times when they go up or down, a lot of it you can see is like straight from awareness. Although this guy also lost some power and some finishing moves. But he's down on A6. Tyler Smith, another Tyler Smith. I think I mentioned the, the one from the Chiefs. Or maybe that's not his name. But another guard named Tyler Smith went up a point. Um, I actually think Tyler Smith at 86 is probably underrated. I know I've been kind of bashing some of the ratings that they're giving to the Cowboys players, but I think you'd actually rate him up a little higher. He'd probably be closer to a 90. He's a really good player. Brandon Schraef, guard for the uh, Jaguars, up a point to an 85. Uh, he, once again, two-point awareness boost. I don't know where they come up with this stuff. Cortland Sutton up a point to an 85 uh, from, the, uh, from the Broncos. Um, he's been having a really good year. I mean, I know they don't throw the ball as well. I mean, if he was in like a more high powered offense, I would say, I don't know how to say that, but he's, he, he's a really good player who probably would be, uh, you know, really, really coming on if he played with like a, you know, Josh Allen or something like that. Jamal Adams down a point to an 85 Logan Wilson up a point to an 85 Malik Hooker up a point. Once again, Cowboy player up to an 85. And Nick Bolton down a point. Now, that's I don't agree with that at all. One of the best linebackers in the game. He's down a point to an 85. And that's about where I'm going to end it because I typically don't like to go too far past like the mid-80s. Uh, but some definitely some good players uh, that got some movement there. Like I said, it's a real trend. It seems like they tried to really pump up the Cowboys while kind of like half pumping up the Niners, like moving up some guys, but also moving some guys down to kind of even it out. And then just like tanking the Eagles. I get it. They had two back-to-back -back bad games. They might have a third straight bad game against the Seahawks. Who knows? Uh, something's just wrong with that locker room or something's wrong with them right now. But still, I don't really necessarily, you know, it's just kind of like, well, I mean, like half the players that went up this week were Cowboys players. So it is what it is. All for one win against a winning team. But I'm going to end the video there. If you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, please make sure to be subscribed. Hit the like button. Let me know in the comments 
section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Moish it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.